If your Honda Civic is leaking oil all over the driveway, I'm gonna show you how to fix it really cheap. This is all it costs me. This is the gasket you need. It's really not that hard. So you know what, don't get scared, don't run away. So this is the guy that leaks. Doesn't matter if you have VTEC or you don't have VTEC. The ones on VTEC look a little bit different. But before I get ahead of myself, let's pan in and let's make sure you're even trying to fix the right area. <gasps> now they do leak on the passenger side. So once you crawl underneath, you're gonna look at the passenger side and you can see all of this oil under the passenger side. If you're leaking way out on the driver's side and maybe it's red or something like that, you might have a transmission fluid leak. It might be something different. This one is for an oil leak that is on the passenger side. So the, I guess the right side of the vehicle when you're sitting in it. So let's head to the top of the vehicle and we can see how it looks from the top now that you've seen it at the bottom. So looking from the top down, you will see by uh, the main drive belt, you will see some oil stains right there. Okay, so we know where we're leaking. We're leaking at the side of the engine here. I'll shine some light here. What I did is I just gave it a little wash there so it's nice and clean, just so I don't get my hands like super dirty and stuff like that. You can see we're just gonna take these pieces out. This is really easy to pop out if we can. I don't know what's hooked onto the other side. So I can switch hands. And there you can see it's just the wiring uh, harness right there. So we can pop that out. There's a clip to undo right on the front. So we're gonna undo this clip right on the front right here. So we can get our hand in there quite easily. So there we go. So back in the local area, you can see we have this little green clip. It's just holding the ground wire with a little bit of finesse. We'll be able to pop this off. And once that's off, you can see there's another clip holding this uh, wiring loom to the bracket and we can take this off. Now we're just gonna undo this hose right back here in the back of the engine. So I'm just gonna pull it up from here. Now you can undo it at the side of the engine, but I think it's actually easier here. So we're gonna get our pliers just because I can actually get to it a lot easier. So what we're gonna do is squeeze our clamp. Now these, usually, we're gonna need a pick because if I pull here, I'm just gonna rip it. So best thing to do is to speed up the video to show you how I did it. Now be very careful when you're using a pick not to actually puncture the hose because last thing you want is a hole in the hose. And now we're just gonna release the hose uh, from the bracket. Uh, it's held on by this little black clip. You can see I just got my little pick in there to do it. Now I can just pull it forward. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually just remove the bracket itself. There we go. And that's just a uh, little 10 mil bolt. And now this bracket is totally free, which is good. And I just gave that a squeeze, couldn't do it on camera, it's just way too difficult. So now I can just sort of push it off. There you go, I just pushed it off. So now that that's done, there we go, it's all pretty much out of the way. So I'm gonna do my best to show you guys in the back because no one has done this. There's the two top bolts and you'll see the bottom bolt later. And I loosened it up so now you can see there it's loose. So I'll just have to take it out by hand. There we go, that's the bottom one, that's the harder one. So if you can get the bottom one out, you should have no problems getting the top ones out because I found the top ones were actually easier to take out than the bottom ones. Maybe I'll use this uh, moment to give myself a shameless plug. If you haven't already, I would really appreciate uh, a like. Figure I would weave it into the video and see what happens. And it is free. Let's take it out. There we go, just like so. And there's the piece. Okay, so you can see I have the part here. Here's where they leak at the bottom. You can see it's sweating there anyway. You could tell that was pretty dry and then here it gets wet. So we can just pull the gasket out like that. There's really not much to the gasket at all, a little screen. So let's pan to the back of the engine now and you'll be able to see how oily it was. So we definitely hit the right spot. You can see it's absolutely filthy. Um, we obviously can't leave it like this. Okay, so we gotta clean it. And the great thing about me having my YouTube channel is, you know what, I can't cut corners, not that I ever would, but we wanna make sure it's nice and clean, guys. Come on. So someone's gonna call me out if it's not clean. So let's take a look and see if I cleaned it well enough. Hopefully you guys are happy with that. I think it looks pretty good. I'm very, very happy with that. So let's go get our part and install it. And you can see once you've cleaned the part up, the gasket just pushes in nice and easy. All right, so now we're gonna, we have our gasket in. It sort of holds itself in, so you don't really have to worry about it dropping off or dropping out, don't bang it too hard. But we're just going to kind of shoehorn it back in here, just like so, just behind, just like that. And we're gonna make sure everything is clear. There we go. And you can see it, there it is, just like that. Got one of the bolts right here. Now it's easier to do these top bolts, or at least do one bolt. You can see there it is. It's gone through and we can just sort of line it up. We're just gonna twist it in a little bit by hand. There we go, and you can see it's a little bit more snug in there. Let me grab our other bolt. There 
then once it's in and you want to turn it, you can just take a short, uh, I'm just backing up for a second so you can see, you can just take a short tool like this, something that's got something knurled, so you get a little bit of grip with your fingers, and you can just twist it in. Not super tight, because we want to make sure that we line it up perfectly, so we got our last bolt, and that one goes in at the bottom. I don't know if I can get a good view on this one, guys. Maybe, maybe. All right, now that I got them snugged up, I'm just gonna take my ratchet, and I usually do it twice. You gotta remember, it doesn't take much to tighten these because it's just a little rubber gasket that you're compressing, right? So it's not much, guys. And there you can see we're actually on the bottom one, but it's just too loose, I gotta get my other hand in there. Right there, so this one's gonna go on. Let's see if I can do it now, even as I'm speaking to you. Look at that, guys. Now this one's just a bracket, guys, so like don't reef it super tight, doesn't have to be, it's just, just to hold it steady, that's all it is. Now this, we can just poke back in here. Now this piece here can just go back on here. This goes back in here. This clips back to the side of the bracket. There we go. You can see this white dot right here. That's how you know when your hose is in the right spot. This white dot should line up with this clip here. Oh geez guys, I almost forgot this plastic thing. So it's got this thing here that goes to the wiring harness. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, right up here at the top. There you go, there's wiring harness. So let's just tuck that back in and get that done. Sorry about that guys, I almost forgot. Jeez, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? There we go. We're just maneuvering it in there. We're going to get it under the wiring harness, just like so, and we're going to clip it back in. I'm having a tough time doing it with one hand, so if you can trust me that I'll do it with both hands, let me do it. There you go. You can see I'm wiggling it. It's all popped back in, and the wiring harness is there, so. Anyway, that concludes the job. So what tools did I need? Okay, so these are the tools that I used, but listen, guys. Screwdriver, any type of pry bar, that's fine. Oh my God, we got a socket rolling. Anyway, or not a socket, an extension. Didn't even use this extension, so why is it here? I don't know, it slipped in because I thought it was important. We don't need it. So I used this little extension, a 10 mil, little pliers. This was just to undo the clips, but here's what you really need. I just use a quarter drive ratchet, and my ratchet, as you can see, spins anyway. So it just, it gave me a lot of room. If you don't have a swiveling ratchet or swiveling sockets, this job's gonna be a little bit difficult, but if you got a, a ratchet that swivels like this, it's gonna make it a ton easy and the job actually isn't even that hard. So anyway, there you have it. Join me again. Thank you, Garage King, over and out.